Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who's entering our sixth year of homeschooling, which is bananas. I have a first grader and a fifth grader. Today, I just wanted to pop on, I'm right in the middle of like all the planning and craziness. Um, and I do have intent to share a prepping video. And I'm not sure if me prepping is gonna go up before this or after this, but I think this is gonna take uh, a little bit more explanation and a little bit more prepping than is gonna be able to fit into that video because this is about specifically science and what we're doing for science for the 2022-2023 school year. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. If you would love to be so kind, please head on over. I'm gonna link it right there to my other channel, Suitcase Princess, which is like field trips, fun, family travelings. I'm so close to being at the subscriber threshold, the thousand subscribers. I'm so close. It's my goal. It's my goal. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it. Okay. Anyways, unrelated. Um, so actually not unrelated. Let me tell you how. One of the things that we are doing for science in our 2022-2023 school year is I'm finally managed to sign the girls up, the Suitcase Princesses up for science classes at the museum, which I have videos over on Suitcase Princess all about Houston Museum of Natural Science, and we love it. We are so fortunate to be near a major city that has some genuinely world-class amenities as far as theater um, museums and the Museum of Natural Science. I mean, they have one of the best paleontology halls in the nation. So huge deal, huge, absolutely huge deal. But we finally got in with a group and got signed up for group classes at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. I am so excited. So because of that, because we got signed up, the classes are, I think they had enough people fill up. There were a few options. There was like um, fifth through like eighth grade dissection, which my fifth grader was like, no, thank you. Um, and then there was like kind of like general science labs that was like first through fifth, I think. So they can both go together. So basically it's an hour long class once a month. So we've got it all scheduled. We're super excited. But in signing up, it, I think if they fill up the class for your group, it actually breaks down to like $10 per kid per class. So we are looking at just not not that much money to have them going doing going and doing those real science labs with a real scientist at the museum. I'm so excited. But because of that, they did actually release the um, like topics for the science labs. And so in my prepping, what I want to do is go ahead and map out and try to sync my mystery science lessons with the science labs they'll be having. I know. I know. It's a lot. But that is my goal. So right now, I'm going to pause talking. I'm going to pop over and we're going to go through mystery science and just see what we can get to kind of coordinate with these monthly labs. Then I will have at least somewhat of a science plan for the year. And I don't, it's probably not going to be my full science plan for the whole year, but at least right around getting these um, science things plugged into like my life. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Anyways, so let's pop over to the computer and we will do this stage of prepping, which again, I felt like was going to be just enough that it was like a whole video on its own. But anyways, we'll pop over and do that. Okay. So I've popped out of my computer. This is going to be like my science planning. I have a sheet of paper. I have um, 32 weeks of science, but one, two, Okay, so there are nine science classes that are kind of spoken for. So I need 32 weeks of science and I'm hoping that I can kind of like, I don't know, organize, plan, what am I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can screen record and hopefully I can screen record. But I didn't record everything I wanted it to last time. It was like a whole thing. Anyways, okay, screen record on. Screen record, activate. Also, my new computer screen is like so big. I can't have the whole thing open or my eyeballs wanna fall out of my head. Okay, boom, mini lessons, science units. Okay, I don't know that I wanna do that so much as, let me see, okay. So the first science, like official science 
Um, lab is optical illusions. So I just wanted to, oh, nice. Animals see in the dark, sounds and vibrations, light sounds, lights, eyes and vision. Um, okay, so let's see, landforms. Landforms, okay. Earth's features, volcanoes and patterns. And this says, explore the basic landforms and waterways found in Texas. Follow our water from spring to shore. Okay, so there's a lot of options for that, which I'm really excited about. Um, mapping its water cycle. Okay, so I'm thinking that, you know what, I'm just gonna make my notes on here. Okay, so this second one, I think is gonna be like water cycle and landforms, climate, geography, and global weather patterns. Um, yes, I think that is rock, sand, and erosion. There's a lot of options here to really map that in. Erosion, earth surface, and landforms. Um, yes. Okay. Volcanoes rock. Okay. So there are a lot of options. Okay. And landforms. So maybe that's all I'll do for now. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I'm going to map them out and see what it is because like our first class isn't until September 15th. So I feel like we could do a lot of things before that. If we do water cycle and landforms, oh, you know what I could do? I could do months, months. Okay. So I don't know what I'm going to have in August, September. I don't know what I'm going to have. Um, but October, we're going to do, there's plenty here to do landforms. Let me come back up and let me go to the homepage and just see science units. Like, is there a unit that would be good for that fossil evidence and habitat change? Animals through time, plants, like weather and climate. Okay. Weather and climate, water cycle phases of matter. Okay, so we could do weather and climate, and then let me just pop up here and see what the ages are for six to nine. Erosion and earth surface. Yeah, I mean, that's five, and the other one was like four units. So, I mean, that's, that's nine weeks, really. So we could do that for the first, like, chunk of time. Okay, so nine weeks. Believe it or not, I am making erosion and earth surface. Okay. I'm going to try to map them all in. Do you think that's possible? I'm going to go as closely to what they're doing as possible, but I think that we will start because I know the girls are very excited. Fossils, animal survival, and heredity. There's plenty of stuff here to look at, but we also don't have to go through all of it. I think that'll be a good solid start to our plan here. Um, yeah, I think they'll be really interested. Okay. So I'm going to flip this over because it's a little crazy or maybe start a new page. You know what? I'm going to keep it all on the same page. That's the smart thing to do. Okay. So I think we're going to start as far as science goes with, um, the six through nine. Uh, we're going to start with the fossils. We're going to do the unit animal survival, I think this is going to be so easy to plan out and then keep it all together and hopefully also in sync with our specialty classes. I'm not 100% sure. I'm hoping this works, hoping that it goes the way that I want it to. Um, okay, these are all third grade. Let's see really fast. What what is what age is 7 to 10? 7 to 10... Okay, so we're just gonna study what um, feels like we wanna study. And then from there, I'm loving all of this. You can do assessments, you can do answer keys. Um, it tells you what standards it goes with, which I absolutely love. But I am thinking we will start with the fossils because that is something that they will both absolutely love. And yes, I'm using this for everybody. Yeah, I am. I'm putting the kids together. I'm using it for a number of students, 30. 30 copies? What? Nope, 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 nope. Google Classroom, assessments, teachers. Um, look at, you just watch the video and then here you go. Part of this unit's anchor layer, first four lessons in this unit. Preview activity. Oh, nice. Oh, is this to watch with it? Nice. 
Okay, I'm so excited. I'm sorry, I'm excited. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. See, think better, watery cave worksheet. Okay, so I'll be able to print those things off. So I just need to figure out, I, we're gonna do fossils, animal survival, and heredity first, okay? So that was a little bit of a crazy science. I hope it was as useful as I feel like it hopefully was. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, so next up is gonna be prepping. And then, then I'm at some point, I wanna do an in-depth look at woven melodies, which is another thing I need to do prepping. Okay, okay. Well, guys, I hope that you found that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, like the whole reason I found out about, out about this is are we co-op members? We're not, but I follow every possible homeschool group in my area that I can because they are a wealth of information. Are they secular? Most of them aren't. Does that mean that the things that we they do or the discounts that they offer or the days that they set up isn't gonna benefit me? Hex, no, it does not, okay? So broaden your scope a little bit. Um, these are science classes put on by the Science Museum, so I have a little faith they're gonna be pretty gosh darn okay. Um, but I'll let you know if they're not. Anyways, it's a great value. I'm super excited to be able, able to offer this to our girls this year as just kind of like a supplement and add on, get out, meet some kids, a little bit more labby as far as science goes so we're super excited um again it's just one hour a month but super fun and i'm really looking forward to it so guys i will keep you updated on how it goes and again i hope this was useful you can either find me down in the comments or over on instagram at making everyday magic bye guys